Hello. Um, so it is quarter to eight in the morning. We are about 15 minutes away from the gym um, where the competition's being held. Um, we got up this morning, Catherine got up at six, uh, walked the dog, did all the dog stuff. I got up at quarter to seven, had a shower, got my bag ready, had a bit of breakfast, all that stuff. Um, we're meant to get there at eight o'clock and then we've got a briefing at half past eight. Uh, and then deadlift starting at nine. There are a couple of people coming to support me, which is nice. Uh, and a couple that can't because of COVID. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Uh, no, I'm feeling good. Um, I did have lots of dreams last night, all of them about this. One specifically including me turning up and it was all the professional strong men who I saw last night at Europe's Strongest Man were competing um, and it depends who's watching this you may know may this guy or not but he's someone from work um, another dream was that Fabian turned up at the show and out deadlifted me which was really strange and I wasn't expecting that however no I'm feeling good feeling strong um, yeah we'll, we'll see how things go today so we just got here uh, it's half past eight we got here at eight o'clock um, We've got a briefing in a couple of minutes. And then starting off with the deadlift, which I think is at nine o'clock. Um, we came in, you had to get numbers out of a little, um, numbers out of a little cup. Uh, I'm number 15, so I guess that means I'll go 15th. My um, starting weight is 240 kilograms. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> So, uh, just came second in the deadlift, um, finished up at 280 kilograms. A um, little bit annoyed because I know I could have done more. Um, but, I mean, part of this game is not knowing what someone else is going to pull. So, the winner actually pulled 282.5, whereas I'm pretty confident that I could have gone like 290, maybe even 300. Um, but, you know, second place, I'm pretty happy with that. Next is the log into the axle press. Just been outside, done a bit of warm up. Um, and some of the guys haven't even seen a log before, which is fair enough, but I'm feeling good about this. My pressing strength has got good, got better recently. So, um, yeah, we'll see. This is what George Smith and then Rust will be Tim Turner. Ready, George? Three, two, one, go! Come on, George! Easy! Right. Very good. Wait for Jake Stalker on his reps. finished the second event um, which was the log lift into the axle pretty happy with that we got the log and then got eight reps on the axle which I believe is joint first so it was joint first with someone who came further down on the deadlift so I'm feeling pretty good uh, grip bladder next just having a peanut butter sandwich some water and uh, yeah I'm gonna I, I was gonna say we'll see but I'll keep ending each clip with well we'll see <laughs> but yeah, looking forward to the grip. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'll just say that again, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
You ready, George? Last one. Three, two, one, go. Come on, easy. Keep going, Jakey. Come on. Pinch it, come on. Come on. To the knee, this one. Bit of control, though. Very nice. Nice, come on! We've got 25 left, mate. We've got plenty of time. Good. Come on, Grab it, come on, pinch it! 20 seconds left. finished the third event, which is the um, grip event. Did reasonably well. Um, obviously, as you see from the video, I skipped the pinch grip and had to come back to it. Um, but honestly, I went into that with no practice, no technique, no strategies, anything. So I'm pretty happy that I finished it. And I think I got a decent time as well. Not, I think towards the top end of the pack, nothing crazy, because obviously I had to run and come back, but, but I'm happy with it. Good big George. Three, two, one, go. Reminded, these are fighting for fourth place. Could get overtaken though, Chris, by some of them. Are we ready? Two, one, go! Come on, George! Come on! Uh, so we're on the way back now. It is just gone one o'clock. Um, I came fourth, uh, narrowly missing out on the podium. Pretty, uh, I say disappointed. I'm disappointed because I came that close. However, I am pleased that I did it. Um, it does mean that I will still qualify as a novice come lead strongest man. So I'll be entering that in August. Um, now I need to do some training before that, however, you know, sound. Yeah, third, fourth place. Um, unfortunately, it came down to the sandbag. It wasn't done on points overall, it was done on um, like head to heads. So the guy I was with, I don't know whether I was third already and he was fourth or whatnot, um, but he was better than the sandbags at me. He was throwing them up, I think he got five or six reps. I think I struggled with three. Um, I'm not quite sure, you'll see on the video. Um, but yeah, so I had fun. Everyone was pretty nice. Um, got on with, it, with, with everyone. Um, just a little bit disappointed that I didn't make the podium. However, as I say, it means that I can um, still be a novice for August, which is nice. So we're just heading back home now to see Charlie and the dog. Um, obviously, thanks to Catherine and baby James who've been there throughout it all videoing cheering me on um, it sounds daft and like a little bit soppy but it does mean a lot that, that people come along um, so yeah on to the next one and uh, we're gonna go home and have some burgers so back home uh, had lunch we had a uh, had some burgers from rumpus uh, but a shower you know I'm, it's, it's been all right I've enjoyed the competition I'm knackered it's weird because like my my hands and my grip feel very much um, fatigued, but not much else. Got a bit of a headache, but I think that's because got a bit sunny and I do get a bit sunstrokey. Um, I have entered Leeds Strongest Man, which I believe is on the 29th of April, uh, 29th of August, 27th of August. There we go, got there in the end. Um, which should be good, you know. So. I'm happy, you know, I, I keep saying and, and to people and um, obviously I'm disappointed I didn't make the podium. However, I'm glad that the things I, I messed up on or didn't do very well on weren't the things I've been training for. So it's not like I could have tried any harder in the gym. I didn't fail the deadlift or anything. I didn't, I didn't mess up the overhead stuff, which I've been focusing on. 
it was all the um, you know the sandbag stuff which i've never done before but now i've got one um there was the 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 grip stuff which i just lost time on but you know it's it all comes down to experience doesn't it but um yeah uh, thank you for watching um thank you to Catherine, baby james and charlie who's been at home looking after the dog um yeah on to uh, bigger and better things next time